What's up YouTube, it's me Chris and I've got another great video for you. As you can see, we've got a new camera on the table. Super excited about this one. It actually came uh, a day or two earlier than I expected. I, I did pre-order this camera back uh, in early February and I'm super excited to finally get it in my hands and see uh, what all the fuss is about. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. Here's the Sony a6300 and this is the body only variant and I decided to pick this up for a couple reasons. One is that I wanted a B cam and I wanted something smaller that I could shoot with and take all the time instead of carrying around my rig that is quite large these days with my uh, a7S II on it. So I was looking around and I was looking at different options and then this kind of fell into my lap because a couple of days before I was looking to make a purchase this guy was announced back in early February. So I looked at the specs and I liked them enough that I decided I would go forward and just pull the trigger and make this purchase. Um, one of the things that uh, I'm really excited about is that a lot of the current lenses that I already have will work with this system. So I think that that's a huge plus for me and I'm just really excited to get this thing going and I can slip it in my computer bag, especially if I were to put something like a pancake lens on it and have an awesome uh, camera slash uh, video camera slash uh, still photography camera always on me and that's really nice especially for the kind of work that i do so on the box here of course you see the a6300 sony you see e-mount and this has the 4d focus system it's supposed to be extremely fast autofocus and a few tests that i've kind of looked at have also stated that as well Let's try to get it close so you can see what some of the accessories look like um, i did get two extra wasabi batteries that i'm going to be using um, i do have an external charger there's a grip, looks like there. There is a shotgun mic, there's a monitor, and there's a flash. So those are some of the cool accessories that use that uh, hot shoe that is included on the camera. On the side, you get some of the spec information here, which is that this is using the Bion's X um, processor, uh, Xmore sensor, see my sensor, 4K, does do full 1080p, on um, the XAVCS Kodak, it also does AVC HD, Dolby Digital, and those are the important things about it. Um, it does have a 24.2 megapixel sensor, which is nice, this is an APS-C, so you're gonna get that 1.5 times crop here. It does have an ISO range of 100 to 25,600, and has 425 AF points, and these are phase detection, which is really nice. It does burst out at 11 frames per second there, which is nice, and does have a XGA OLED True Finder, which is supposed to be very accurate, so can't wait to use that also. So yeah, nothing else on this side of the box. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it, because that's what you guys came here for. Uh, the box is small, and I knew it was going to be small, I just didn't know exactly how small it was going to be. So when I got this huge Amazon box on my doorstep, and this little thing was inside of it, and here's my hand for, for an example, I was like, oh, that's it, okay, cool. All right, so uh, here's the paperwork here. You've got your warranty paperwork. You've got some Sony literature there, how to do the Wi-Fi. You talk about their limited but growing range of lenses, which is also very nice here. And you also, thank you for your purchase. Uh, you've got the instruction manual in a couple different languages here. So that's nice, this is the one I'll need. This is in uh, English. So yeah, pretty cool. Further inside of the box here, we'll pull out the stuff that, I got another one of these, this is the wall charger. You can plug this in and plug the camera directly to it. This camera, I'm pretty sure, does not come with a wall charger, but I bought one, like I said, with my Wasabi batteries. It does come with this little strap with the Sony Alpha on it, and it may say, says Sony, probably says A6000 somewhere in there too. I don't ever use these, I have better straps, so I'll just keep this to the side. Um, I will need this guy, which is that battery, and we'll keep that, and I think, well, there's more. We've also got the little eye cup. Um, I guess it's the, the, the viewfinder extender, and hopefully somebody makes an, a better version of this, a, a more extended version, because I can tell you guys right now, this is really hard rubber, so this will probably cut, it, cut your eye up. So maybe someone will make one of these or adapt one of these that extends out that's a little softer or, or more malleable so that it'll work better with your eye. Here is that charging slash multi-port cord to USB that you'll need. And we'll double check, that's everything in that side of the box. 
we'll go ahead and get the camera out. So I just wanted to show you the camera in all its glory by itself. And it's a heavy little thing, I'll tell you that right off the bat, when you pull it out here, and it looks pretty freaking awesome. Feels better than I expected it to feel. Um, it feels, the grip feels, if you are familiar with the A7 and the A7R, or the A7S, the originals, the grip feels kind of like that. So I've had those cameras, so I'm very used to that. But it feels solid at the same time. And on top, you have that shoe, you have a pop-up flash, there's your EVF. You of course have a very angle screen here, but it doesn't fully articulate. Wish this would flip out to the side. This is not a touch screen as well, so that may be a bummer for some people. Um, you do have that awkwardly placed record button here, so I hope the Cineasy folks will make a button attachment like they did for the A7S, which I just happen to have the A7S II here, like this one that will lock in there and make it easier to push that record button. Um, but yeah, it's in that same position. Not a deal breaker, but just something, especially on a camera this small, you do have to adjust your grip in order to get to that. So far, everything feels very similar to what I'm used to here uh, with the other cameras. The buttons feel very, um, feel like they're of high quality, which is good stuff. Um, there is no mode dial lock here like there is on the a7S2 uh, or the A7R2, um, that, the two that I've experienced. There are a couple, one, two, two custom buttons here that I'm seeing that you can use versus the four that I'm used to. But again, it's nice to have those. Um, there is an adjustment for the uh, EVF here that's right there that you'll definitely want to use. And then on the side, this is probably the biggest change, especially for those of you that had the 6000 or had the 6000. You now have a microphone and then you have your other two ports. There's your flash button right there, which not used to at all because the A7 series, the, the ones that I've used do not have a flash. Um, all the dials again feel pretty similar and the layout looks pretty similar as well. Um, one big omission for me is on the side here, there's no slide out slot for an SD card. The SD card is in the bottom here. And let me get that again. It should go right there, then your battery goes here. So you do have to take this thing off of a tripod, um, depending on what plate you use or how you mount it. Um, if you use a slim plate, you can probably get in there from the bottom, no problem. But that's just not as convenient as having it on the side here. And just for comparison's sake, I'll show you what a side view looks like. This is my A7 here. And again, side view, pop the card out, lock it back in. And this is my A7S II. So, just as an example. And then just to show you the back, there's a couple more custom buttons here. You've got two on top, and then you've got one here. You've got, where's the third one? One there. And you got two right there, one and two, so yeah. Since I've got this stuff here, I wanted to show you the other accessories that I picked up for this thing. Um, I like to get these little screen protector joints, so I definitely picked this one up. This is the ILC for 6000, basically, but this will fit on here, no problem. And it's the, the Sony branded uh, screen protector. And this one is anti-fingerprint, semi-hard. I do like these a lot. I've got one on my A7S, I have one on my A7R. No problem whatsoever just solid uh, screen protectors. Uh, and I was able to pick up a couple of these Wasabi batteries here. I got them in a two pack off Amazon and a charger and they should be ready to rock and roll. Side by side comparison, much smaller. Not as small as I thought, but much smaller, but still feels good in the hand. Again, the grips and the Ergo, I really love on the A7 series but I can dig this too, and I have large hands. I mean, I wear a large glove just to give you some, some uh, point of reference, but I really like this. This is a nice little camera. There it is. So yeah, uh, I'll set this up. I'll give you guys a report um, later, but I just wanted to get it out of the way, show you guys the camera. Really happy with this. This will go on my bag. This will be my, honestly, my main workhorse because I totally dig what Sony's doing with the smaller bodies and the features. And for me, that's a big deal because I'm on the go and I already carry so much crap. So to be able to have a powerful solution in my backpack with my laptop, with my tablet, with whatever else I'm carrying is really 
a big deal. That's all I got. Now, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will give you samples from this camera very soon. I plan to shoot with it this weekend. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here.